Hey everyone, it's Lillian. Long time no see, uh, but I am finally back with a new video for you. Uh, this video is basically a review on the As I Am Twist Defining Cream, and I do show you how I use it. Um, this is the result that I got, so I'll just come in closer. And I've pinned it back a little bit. And yeah, I did not slick back my edges because I don't see a need to if I'm not going anywhere fancy. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like. So let's watch the uh, application and then we'll come back for the review. All right, so I just finished washing my hair and I am going to just do a quick uh, scalp massage with a combination of oils. So I'm gonna use um, almond oil as the main oil. I have neem oil, um, a couple drops of tea tree oil, and then another essential oil um, whose name or what's name is escaping me, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that quickly off camera, and then I'm gonna go into showing you the twist out. Okay, so I've moisturized my scalp um, and I've parted my hair. I usually start from the bottom and make my way up. Um, <laughs> it's like a Drake song. Uh, so I'm using the As I Am Twist Defining Cream and it just looks like that. And it just looks like that. It looks like a whipped product and it has a light scent it's nothing strong um so like i said i start from the bottom and i've already detangled the bottom here so i'm just gonna divide it and i'll do the whole bottom section on camera um but with no talking and i will do the rest of it off camera and show you the final results I typically like to do the twists on the nape a bit tighter a bit, or a bit smaller because they get the puffiest I find with or without gel. It doesn't matter what product I'm using. Um, so I'm just going to turn around and show you what that looks like. So I did I think about six or so. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm going to just do the rest of my hair and I will come back and show you the finished look. All 
All right, so I am finished twisting my hair. Um, I'm going to just do a 360. Um, and I'll show how much product I used. So it's gone down about that much. And then I just sealed my hair with my favorite, I guess, sealing oil. It's by Camille Rose, the Herbal Soft Seal and Soften Oil. This stuff smells amazing. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably leave this in for about two days because, like, where am I going? Um, <laughs> I think I have work, or I'm going into the office um, in person in a couple of days, just for um, one day next week, so I'll let my hair out then, um, and then I will film the results for you. Alright, so it's been a couple of days later, and I'm just going to unravel some of the twists. I usually start from the back and then come up, but just for the purposes of this video, I will do just a couple on this side so you can see and then I'll do the rest off camera and then you can see the final result. I will be going in with this hair oil. Um, it's by Camille Rose. It's called the Buriti, I may have butchered that, Nectar Repair Hair Oil. Just looks like that. It's just to eliminate frizz um, while unraveling the twists. So let's go in. Okay, so, so far, this is the first little bit. Um, let me do one that's a bit higher up so you can see. Alright, so that's pretty good definition-wise. And I'm just going to, here we could do one more and then I'll just do the rest off camera. All right, and yeah, so that looks good. So I'll do the rest off camera and I'll come back and show you the final results. All right, so I've taken it out. This is what it looks like. I haven't done any um, separations or anything, but just alone, like the definition is actually, it's really good. Um, and I only used the one product. I didn't use any like, like leave-in conditioner. My leave-in was just straight up water. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just do some separation. Um, I will show you how I do it. So usually what I do is I usually just like pull um, one part and I kind of just look for a divide. So you can see there's that split. So that's like a natural split. So that's where I will separate. And then I just continue on so that one it's split there this one is a bigger one oh nice so it kind of split right there so I'm going to pull it the, the bigger ones do tend to get a bit frizzier but that's okay and I'm gonna just continue doing that and come back on camera and show you what everything looks like all right, so this is what it looks like. Um, I think it came out pretty well. And I haven't done, put any like pins in it or anything, so this is what it looks like without me um, uh, styling it, if you will. So yeah, I think it came out pretty well. I'm going to do a full like review and all that stuff for you in a moment. And I'll probably just have it pinned a bit to make it look a little nicer. But yeah, it, I think it came out pretty well. Let's move on. All right, so uh, I just wanted to start by showing you basically what I washed my hair with and what I conditioned with. So I used two products. Um, so I used a co-wash. This is the first time I've ever used one. Um, this is by As I Am as well. It's the Long and Luxe pomegranate and passion fruit grow wash 
and it just looks like this and it smells really good this is what the product looks like yeah it smells really really nice and then I used a conditioner that I've mentioned before. It's by Earth Tones Naturals. It's the Curl Condition Hydrating Conditioner. And it just looks like that. And yeah, this always smells good. And that's just what it looks like. And then, um, yeah, for the Twisting Butter, like I showed previously, it's the As I Am Twist Defining Cream. So. This cream, it doesn't, it doesn't say that it's a gel of any type, but I feel like it has a gel consistency. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to tell, but there's like this jiggle that's there. And um, even when putting it on my hair, it feels like a mix between a regular hair butter and then a gel um, and it does have a bit of like a tacky feeling as you're going through like your whole like all your hair um, but yeah it was very easy to apply um, whenever I smoothed it down like each section of hair and then just kind of like let it go a bit you could see that it was defining the curls really really well and I had my hair in twists for about 48 hours, just under 48 hours, and um, this, again, this is the results that I got, and I think that it came out fairly well. I will say that when I was unraveling it, I did feel a bit of tackiness on my hands, but, like, when I touch my hair now, like, after, like, washing my hands and everything, um, it doesn't feel tacky, I guess just because I was fully in my hair and, like, separating it, but, like, during the day, like, you're not going to be touching your hair, or you shouldn't be touching your hair all over the place, um, so, yeah, it, it's not an issue, and, um, yeah, like, as you can clearly see, this is, like, solid definition, um, and I, my hair type, like, I, this whole hair typing thing, I think it's, it's, basically up to the individual person, but I think that my hair is more in the 4C range with a bit of 4B. I think before when I first started like these whole hair videos, I think I said I was a combination of all three hair types, like 4A, B, and C, but I don't think I, I don't think I have any like 4A, and if I do, it might be like just one little section. Um, but yeah, I think that I'm more 4C with a a little bit of 4B mixed in there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, it came out fairly well. Um, I, I think that uh, in terms of moisture, it's all right. It's not the best. I still think that my Camille Rose Almond Dry Twisting Butter, I think that one does have more moisture. But I feel like this, because there's a bit of a gel consistency in it, I'm able to get or I'm able to separate my hair a bit better than the Camille Rose and the frizz is not as bad in the separation process um, compared to the Camille Rose. So yeah, I think that this is a solid product. I think that it's worth a shot. Um, I will say there is glycerin in it, but I think, be again, because there is that gel consistency in it, I think that this is good to use all year round without uh, your hair having any negative effects because there's glycerin in it. And um, there, I just wanted to say the advertised um, oils or whatever, that's just on the front here. It says it has sunflower oil, castor oil, amla, sugar beet root, and something called photosterols. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, yeah, it's great. The scent, it's not strong at all. Like, it's very, very faint, It, but the smell is a sweet one, but it's nothing, like, offensive. So, yeah, I say give this a try if you're in um, the type 4s and maybe, like, a 3C. Actually, I think the 3s would do very well with this for, like, a like a really good wash and go. And, um, like, a 4A. Like, uh, yeah, I think you guys would do really well uh, with a wash and go. I have not mastered the whole wash and go thing. I feel like I would wait for my hair to be a little bit longer to try that. Um, so right now I'm just going to stick to my twist outs because my hair is still fairly short, but it has grown quite a bit from my first um, twist out that I did. And I could post that video above for you to see. That one 
yeah, it wasn't my favorite look, but I was proud of myself in that moment for accomplishing it, but I have come a long way. So yeah, that is about it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and um, let me know if you've tried this or if you are looking to try this. And yeah, please subscribe and I will see you later. Bye.